Good morning. It is just before 9am on Saturday the 27th of January and it is time to start another weekly reading vlog. Um, I posted my vlog from the other week and the comments were generally, you need to be easier on yourself. So this week I'm going to try. <laughs> um, it's not been a secret that I have not managed to get all the videos done that I wanted to do, all the reading done I wanted to do and I'm not going to, well, I'm going to try not to stress about it. So I don't have the videos ready for tomorrow that I wanted to record. So I'm not going to rush and force myself to get everything sorted. What I would like to say is by the end of next weekend, because I start work on the 5th, so by Sunday the 4th, I want to have caught up and I'm going to give myself that time to do it. So I'm not going to rush and try and do everything in, in a day because that's not going to happen. Um, and if that means I only read a couple of books this week, I only read a couple of books this week. That's fine. I do have a few things scattered through the week that I need to do. I've had to rearrange some appointments and things um, just to get everything fitted next week. So it's going to be a busy-ish week anyway. And why add more stress? Okay, so that's the plan. Whether or not that happens is another story entirely. So this weekend, what I really want to do is read this because I'm this far through. I know I didn't vlog yesterday, but I did have a little bit of time where I was able to read um, while I was traveling and I've got up to page 218. I'm enjoying it. Is it the best fantasy I've ever read? No, it isn't. Does it feel like it's going to be the start of something that's getting better? Yes, it does. So I'm hovering around a three at the moment for this. I've just sneezed. That's what that cut was. And my eyes are watering. Um, and while it does fall into sort of expected fantasy patterns, I'm enjoying it. Um, and it's reading up fairly easily. So I just want to spend a chunk of time this weekend working on this. <clears throat> and I don't know why I've put that book off for so many years. So the lighting has gone a little bit wonky. That's great. So I was out for the day yesterday um, and I had a few things that I wanted to get. And one of the most important things was a new date stamp for my book journal. Because I think mine has got to the end of this year so I didn't know how easy it was going to be to find one and um, this one goes up to I can see 2033 in there so I don't know if it goes any further than that but um, I've got a new date stamp from Ryman's so there's not many of them left but they are such great stationery shops and they always have the most obscure things that you're looking for um, and then I had the opportunity to go into an Oxfam bookshop I very nearly didn't because it's a bit of a walk and I was feeling lazy um, and I was just having a mooch around the science fiction section and um, they had a new spring they had new spring on for 2 .99. it's in really nice condition as well um, and the guy working behind the counter, um, I was very thankful for him because he went to have a look to see if they had any more of the Wheel of Time books in their back and they didn't. But I wasn't expecting to come home with New Spring in the same edition as the other book. So I am just looking for number 14 now. And, and then I have the full set. So I just kind of short circuited in the middle of Oxfam. I was like, I can't believe it. So was very happy. Um, I was very worn out when I got home last night um, and <laughs> didn't do a lot of reading and I, I just didn't feel like vlogging yesterday. I just wanted the day to myself. Um, I am about to go out. I do need to go to Tesco and get some milk because I went out yesterday instead of doing my shopping and I don't fancy a full shop at the supermarkets today because it's Saturday. It's just no, it's just not happening. Um, so that is everything really um the plan is really to to read this that that's what i want to do um i really want to spend a good amount of time just diving into this um i'm about let's say not quite 
a third through very nearly so um and i hope i hope everyone's just having a good weekend it's a little bit before two o'clock now and i thought it was time for a reading update since i've only recorded one clip so far for you today i did go down to tesco and get a little bit of shopping done and that's all i've done outside the house Spencer has since stolen my seat on the other chair. She is fast asleep with her paw over her face, so we will not disturb her. And because uh, the kitties are both asleep, I've been able to get some reading done this afternoon. Um, I'm on page 340, which is coming into chapter 29, so I'm about halfway through. And this is a much faster read than I was anticipating, so I don't know why I've been putting this one off for so long, because it felt intimidating. But I love big fantasy books, so I don't know why I was intimidated. <laughs> um, so it's a very fast read. It's a much faster read than I was expecting it to be. And I think part of that is because the world building doesn't feel like it's been fully realised. Um, everything is there. We keep finding stuff out from other characters and we're getting dribs and drabs of what's been going on. But it doesn't feel like proper beefy world building. Um, also, the characters... I don't quite have the emotional connection that I like with a big fantasy series. I want to get to know these people really, really well. And I don't feel that with these characters. We have a few different points of view. The three friends that we meet in the beginning, we tend to get their points of view. And while the stories are all interesting, um, I don't feel that connection. So I'm not really looking, sick, reading it going, can't wait to get back to this character, can't wait to get back to this character. They're all interesting to the same level. Um, and that, I think, makes it a fast read because you're not really dragging your way through any one character or really waiting to get back to another. And I'm I'm liking the story. Um, the story's fun. We're getting a bit wibbly-wobbly timey-wimey now, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how all that plays out. And I think that's a big theme for the rest of the trilogy. Um, it works as part of the magic system as well. The magic system, still don't know huge amounts about the magic system, so we're still sort of exploring what's going on with that because our lead character has an ability that's not been seen for a while um, and he's learning about it as well. So I'm having fun, but it's not the greatest fantasy book that I've ever read. It's probably still going to maintain a three star. And I'm going to continue the trilogy. I'm definitely going to continue the trilogy, especially if the book maintains its level throughout. But it's just not as complex as I was expecting. Is complex even the right word? Um, it's just easier going than I was expecting. And there is a lot of potential there. I mean, this is a first book. A first book. Not even first book of a series, just a first book. And I do feel like, after looking at a few non-spoilery reviews for the rest of the series, things improve as we go along. And let's not forget, The Will of the Many just has absolutely blown people away, which is his next series. So there's obviously still a lot of development going on. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Um, I am glad that I read this series first before The Will of the Many. Um, because there are people who did not like this one, absolutely adored it, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to take a bit of a break from reading now. <laughs> next door sounds like they're doing some work on the house next door. There's a lot of banging going on, which is interrupting Spencer's sleeping. Um, I'm probably going to go and watch some stuff on YouTube for a bit, and I will be doing some more reading later on. I'm liking it. I'm not loving it. I'm liking it and I'm having fun, and that's really all I wanted. Good morning, it's about 10am on Sunday the 28th of January, so I know I've been saying I need to record more during the day and update you more, and I think I only recorded two clips yesterday. Um, that's because I got into this, um, and I read quite the quite the number of pages. Um, I've got about 160 pages left, I'm on page 525. Uh, thoughts are the same, I'm still really enjoying it. Um, it's a lot of fun and it's a surprisingly quick and easy read. Um, things are starting to get a little bit more complicated, there's a lot more going on, there's a lot of politics building, so I'm interested to see where we go. We're finding out little bits here and there about the magic system. There seems to be two different systems and they kind of work together um, and just seeing how all of that fits together. Um, so that's, that was really yesterday. Um, this morning I've been on a three mile walk. So I've, I've been out and yeah I've done three miles this morning and I stopped off and got myself a coffee treat which I'm going to drink now while it's still warm and then 
probably finish this because I can see myself reading quite quite quickly through to the end. Um, I'm not going to jump straight into the sequel. Um, I had kind of planned to do that in a couple of weeks, but that might even be next week. I don't know. I'm going to read this and then, as I said, we're not trying to do everything all at once, but we want to be caught up with things by the end of the weekend, next weekend. So if I finish this this morning, I am going to spend a couple of hours working on the book journal. And I'm not even going to tell you how many books I'm behind because you don't need to know. You just need to know that I need to get my book journal caught up and it's not going to be a five minute task. So I'm going to go and enjoy my coffee. Um, it's full of sugar, of course it is, and caffeine, and that should make for a productive morning. It is about quarter to three now, and I did plan on updating you early on in the day, but it didn't happen. I know I keep mentioning it, I need to update more during the day, rather than just in the morning and then the evening. There's, there's more of the day I can update you with. I got distracted by a few things around the house um, and it took me longer than I anticipated but I have finished The Shadow of What Was Lost. I thought I might get this done by lunch. I didn't. I have just finished it now. And I don't know why this took me so long to get around to. This was literally the last book from 2017 that I had purchased that I hadn't read yet. So I can remove that column from my spreadsheet because there are no books that old that I haven't read. There are a few from 2018, but I am not doing those yet. Um, so it, it started moving a lot faster towards the end. And I know I had said all the way through, it was a fairly quick read anyway. But towards the end, I felt like we had jumped over some plot points. Uh, things were happening, but I didn't feel like we had built up enough to some events happening and a few things were referred to as happening off screen which I feel like could be important later on but I'm not sure but um definitely a good cliffhanger I just spank the book um and I'm definitely looking forward to continuing on with the trilogy not now now but soon and I will be prioritizing this trilogy over Wheel of Time because Wheel of Time is a lot more familiar and I want to get this trilogy knocked out while everything is still fresh in my head. There is a bit going on, we've got several plot points, we've got some good reveals at the end, um, a few things that were not obvious but if you've read a lot of fantasy you know what patterns happen in fantasy and I can definitely see the influence from Wheel of Time from George R. R. Martin in this so um yeah I enjoyed it and I wish I'd got to it sooner but I have done it now and this is the second giant fantasy book that I have read in January because I read The Great Hunt as well which was also giant um and I know my resolution this year was to read some of my bigger fantasy books and January is going to be a bit of a wild card because I was unemployed throughout January, so I had the time. Uh, so I will hopefully be continuing. The next book is An Echo of Things to Come, which I think is longer than this one. Um, but I'm definitely interested to see where we go next. Um, so what am I going to do now? I thought I'd be finished early on in the day, so... I do have a few other things to do around the house. The cats are certainly frisky this afternoon, but I've also given them some catnip. So it's probably my fault. And um, yeah, I, I do need to do my book journal. That was my main priority this afternoon. So we shall see, but I don't know. Um, I do need to go and update my various spreadsheets now because I need to add this to my series spreadsheet, take it off my TBR spreadsheet and add it to my books that I have read in January. Okay, so I'm going to go and do that now. It is 10 to 7. I probably should have recorded this before I put my washing on. But here we are. Um, I'm going to work on the book journal. I'm not going to show you how many books behind I am. It's a lot. Um, it's mostly all of them. Not catching up tonight. I'm not going to try and catch up tonight. Um, I have divided it up into piles. So I'm going to try and do three entries tonight. We are not doing everything all at once. We're catching up.
in a way that is sustainable. So I'm going to do three entries tonight. I'm halfway through one already. So that's the plan. We're not doing all the books. There's too many books. Um, let, let me just get on with this and let's see how we go. It's 10 to 7. I'm going to put some music on once I've finished my washing because it's just a bit loud. Cats have been played with, but I'm sure Spencer's going to want a little bit more attention because it's Spencer. And I was right. My date stamp runs out this year because the next year on it is 2013. So it was a good job I did buy one on Friday. It is 20 past eight. I've just finished my three book journal entries. I'm so happy that I actually did them. Um, I decided to stop, even though I was on a bit of a roll, because as we say, we're not overwhelming ourselves. So I've done my three entries. Much relief. I do love my book journal, but sometimes it just gets a little bit overwhelming. So I've got to break it down into smaller bits. So I finished the shadow of what was lost earlier on. And I don't want to go straight into the sequel. I mean, I do want to go straight into the sequel, but I'm not going straight into the sequel. So I have picked up a couple of books and I know I said I want to read an SBFBO finalist soon because I need to get those worked on. But it's, it's not what I'm in the mood for. It's not quite what I'm in the mood for. And I want to catch up with my book journal with the reviews I need to write before going into another SBFBO finalist. So I have picked up... Where the Waters Turn Black by Benedict Patrick, which is the second Yarns World book. Because we're all about series this year, we are working on series. Um, so that's not a long one, which should be nice after reading nearly 700 pages in a few days. Um, also, I have what I think is a standalone. I'm trying to do this one handed. Under Fortunate Stars by Ren Hutchings standalone sci-fi don't know which one i'm in the mood for so i might try them both tonight and see which one i feel like finishing good morning it's about 9 a.m on monday the 29th of january it is a horribly gloomy and dull day outside today it is raining it just looks rubbish out there it looks brighter in here because i had to put the overhead lights on um, I don't tend to put the front set on because otherwise it, this this footage will just look rubbish. Um, so I do need to go out this morning and I really don't feel like it, but I need to go out and get some shopping. I need to get a few other bits and pieces. I'm going to be out for a, probably a couple of hours. Um, I probably won't do a lot of vlogging because I'm going to be driving. And it's just, you know, you can't do that. I don't understand why people vlog while they drive. It's just stupid. Anyway, did I do any reading last night? No, I did not do any reading last night. Um, I have not chosen between these two. And while I kind of want to continue on with this series, I'm not sure I want to continue on right now after picking this book up. So I might put that to one side. Standalone science fiction does sound attractive, but all I want to do is read the next book in the Lacanius trilogy. And that is what's in my head. And while I know I should read something else and an SBFBA finalist, I still just kind of want to read the next book in the trilogy. So I think I'm going to read the next book in the trilogy. I think I'm going to go and get that and read that. that that's what I want. And that was, the, that was the plan. Did I want to continue on with the trilogy? Yes, I do want to continue on with the trilogy. Wasn't planning on doing it now, but I want it. I might have a gap between books two and three because that's going to be a lot of pages and yeah if it's next week I read an SBFBO finalist or next weekend that's fine I still have a couple of reviews to write so it's not like I need to get one read right now so I can get a video out tomorrow and as we've said before it's all about being nicer to yourself and what I want to do is read that so I'm going to go and read that um, I have also been working on my book journal this morning, so I do need to do that, continue on with that, because I am still behind, although I did three entries last night, so I'm very happy about that. And today, I would like to get last week's vlog edited. Um, even though I'm not getting a Sunday review video out recently, and I, I don't know why I'm not managing that, well, I do know why, um, at least I'm getting a vlog out every week. Um, 
so yeah the sunday videos i'm going to be working on getting one out for this sunday and then getting back into the rhythm of doing it but honestly with job hunting that has taken up like all of my brain and then reading has taken up the space of what's left and then youtube is just this tiny little bit left in the corner uh so it's not been <laughs> it's not been forefront in my mind the energy to do youtube it's been a case of my brain screaming at me going oh shit oh shit oh shit you don't have a job and now i do have a job i'm gonna try and get the cord up um so it's the final week before i start work um i'm gonna go and get the next book in the trilogy because that's what i want and i'm gonna go and you know get sorted i'm gonna go leave fairly soon the sooner i go out and start my jobs the sooner i will be home and can get cozy because i feel like today is a day we need to be cozy so yeah let's go and get the book let's just read what i actually want to read i've still got plenty of time to get the last sbf finalist done and i've got time to get some reviews written so yes let's go and do that now so here are my tbr shells there are some gaps starting to appear which is great not on my fantasy shelf though. And an echo of things to come is here. It is half past one and yes, I have made myself cosy. I've done all my jobs today, so I'm quite happy with that. I did all the things outside the house I needed to do and got a bit of shopping. So that's all sorted. Um, I've even been working on my book journal. So I finished another entry and I've started another. I've done the decorating and written the synopsis of the book. So that's fine um so i thought it's time to sit down and do some reading um i do really want to start this but i haven't written up the shadow of what was lost yet um and i've got a few books to write up before i get to that one um i think i'm gonna start this one i know i said i wanted to read the other one i'm gonna read the first chapter of this one and see what i think to it because stan's lane's life i really would be better right now than another 700 page fantasy book not that there's anything wrong with this 700 page fantasy book but i don't want to get the two mixed up in my head before i've written up the book journal so we'll see anyway I'm, I'm gonna give it a try see what i think it is half past two and i'm just working back on the book journal for a bit um i've done a couple of entries today i'm gonna to do another one and then take a little bit of a break but i was just thinking i'm looking at my stuff again and last year i set myself a no buy challenge for the whole year for my book journal because I don't need stickers, I don't need washi tape, I've got plenty of it. So I did really well up until late on in the year when I ended up buying some washi tape. Um, when I went to Cyprus, they've got big stationery stores and it's, you know, it's all new stuff. So again this year, I'm going to try and avoid buying stuff for my book journal. Because I've got enough stuff to last me. Um, I'm not talking about things like glue rollers. I use this up, I get through it. Um, even the date stamp I bought, that doesn't count because that's something I use. That date stamp runs out at the end of this year, so I've got next year's already. Um, so, yeah, let's try another no-buy for stuff, and I'll try and keep track of what I use up. Currently using my 1 to 31 stickers again. I did this last year for the first 31 books. I have these date stickers. I'm using them up. There's four years worth on that card, and I've used a year already. Um, and just, you know, trying to use up washi tape. I'm using this for my ratings again. That's nearly run out. And just making a dent in the stuff I have. Um, so I'm just working on this now. This, this notebook has a few more pages left in it and then I'll be starting my fifth book journal. And it is another one of these notebooks from Tesco because I've got a few of them. So I'm going to go and work on this for a bit, and uh, yeah, that's where we are. It's half past seven. Um, I haven't read anything today. Um, it's just happened. Just The days just run away from me. Um, I've been doing some stuff around the house. I've been working on my book journal, and I'm really pleased with the progress I've made. Um, I'm three books behind now, and I'll probably catch up tomorrow, which I'm really pleased at. Um, I, I don't bullet journal, book journal, that doesn't really work for me. I, I write reviews for each book I read and just don't have it divided up. I don't have monthly pages or anything like that. It's just, here's book one I read, book two I read. 
Um, and also I've got some book covers printed out and I can fit four on a page when I print out. But what I find is I don't have everything printed out and if I read something randomly on my Kindle, I won't have it printed out. And it just feels like a waste printing that one book cover that I've just read. So I tend to wait until I've read some other stuff that I don't have the covers for, which can take a while. And then I'm just building up loads of books. Um, and what I've been trying to do recently is read the stuff that I've already got the books printed out for. Um, it's pretty random what's in there. Makes no sense to me. I just keep finding stuff. Um, but I want to read <laughs> this trilogy. Uh, I had book one printed out. But I don't have books two and three printed out so I am going to print those out and then find some other stuff to add to that so it doesn't feel so wasteful. Um, it's probably just rambling stuff about my book journal that's really not that interesting but it's just how I do it. Um, so tomorrow, do you need to edit this vlog from last week? I need to get that edited. And also um, the cats are at the vets tomorrow because it's time for their injections, their vaccines. So we need to do that and they're getting their little toesies, their little claws trimmed, which they're going to love. And um, yeah, that's what I've got planned for tomorrow. Try and get a bit more reading in tomorrow. Yes, but I'm going to I'm gonna start working on an echo of things to come. I, I sat down to record this clip specifically to mention um, I've just uninstalled Reddit on my phone. Um, it's such a time sink. So I've uninstalled it and I'm already missing it <laughs> which is which is showing me why it's a good thing that I've uninstalled it um, it went down the other day the the app and it kicked me out so I've had to log in with my password which I can't remember so it wasn't a lot of good anyway so we're going to see if I can read more when I don't have reddit installed Good morning, it is about 20 to 10 on Tuesday the 30th of January. Um, I'm aware my hair is still wet. Um, I really should have done something about this before I started recording, but I was too lazy this morning because I was woken up by the bin lorry going past and I had not put my bin out on the streets. Um, fortunately, it's just a recycling week. It's not like it was normal waste, so um, my recycling bins don't get too full between collections, at least. Uh, so... Um, but yeah, I still forgot to put my bin out this morning. Um, and I did not do any reading last night. Um, I had every intention of starting this. I read the first page. Um, this actually has a really detailed wrap up of the first book, plus some detail about the overview of the lore of the world, which really, really helped place some stuff that I was a bit confused about, a couple of people, where they fit into things. So that was actually really helpful um so i am going to start this today um and i did manage last night to still doom scroll despite uninstalling reddit on my phone um and i've come up with a with a plan to see if i can get that amount of time i'm scrolling on my phone down i'm going to time my reading now i've done this during 24 hour reading challenges um, I'm not doing a 24 hour reading challenge. We're finished with that. I've tried it twice and then I did a vlog where I see how long it actually did take me to read for 24 hours and it took two weeks. So I'm not doing that. I'm just going to record my reading time during the day. And I found that when I was doing challenges like that, I didn't want to pick up my phone to turn off the timer because I was scrolling. Um, I wanted to carry on reading rather than turning that timer off. So I'm going to give that a go today. Because today I don't have a lot on and I need to stay home for this morning for what I do have on. I'm waiting for some stuff for the cats. Um, so I've just got to wait for the delivery window. And then once that comes, I don't have enough time to do a lot of anything else before I need to take the cats to the vets this afternoon. So it is a kind of indoor day today and I should get some reading done. Also, three entries left to catch up on my book journal. Lila is running around so let's let's give it a go and see if timing myself helps. It is quarter to one now Um, I got caught up in doing stuff around the house this morning so I haven't actually done any reading yet. There's always so much to do. I've got to get some washing on as well. So my delivery came so that's all sorted and I've got a couple of hours now before I need to go back out and take the kittens to the vets so 
I'm going to try and get some reading done while I uh, wait for time to, you know, get the travel boxes. So we shall see. I'm going to attempt to do some reading. Probably something will come up and I just won't get around to doing more than about 20 minutes. But we're going to try. Of course, Spencer just starts using the litter tray the minute I start recording. It's my own fault. I have just taken them to the vets. Um, we did survive with minimal bloodshed. Um, I have a scratch on the back of the hand that's holding my phone right now. Um, Lila, Lila doesn't like it. <laughs> um, she hissed and yowled and was not happy all the way through. Had her vaccines, had her claws trimmed while I was holding her. She argues with the vets all the way through. Um, Spencer, on the other hand, just kind of sits there trying to tuck herself into a tiny little ball going and, and no 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 this isn't my favorite but she puts up with it she was very good now they're both home um lila is upstairs sulking spencer is downstairs sulking and i am going to do some reading tonight i am i did 13 minutes this afternoon a few things came up so i had to go and deal with things um but I discovered I have an echo of things to come on my Kindle. So I'm going to read it on my Kindle because holding that damn thing is, is just too long. There comes a point where books are just uncomfortable to hold. And we've reached that point. So I'm going to be reading it on my Kindle. Uh, which is just charging up at the moment. Um, and that's that's where we are. Cats are sulking. Yeah, so it's, it's just, it's got to be done anyway it's a little bit before 9 p.m and i've read an hour and 12 minutes in total which i know doesn't sound a lot but i'm quite pleased with that um i have made some progress in here um i know i'm reading it on my kindle but i will be showing you how i read it in here um on page 98 i think which is into chapter 7 um, this definitely feels like it has stepped up. There's a lot more going on, a lot more politics, a lot more detail. Um, but I'm tired and the kitties have been passed out all evening. They've had a very stressful day. So I think we're all going to go to bed now. Good morning. It's just after 20 past nine on Wednesday, the 31st of January. Um, I have been editing this morning. Um, yes, the vlog that's going up today has just been edited. Um, it's the last week that I can really do this because next week obviously I'll be at work so I need to start editing that at the weekends. Yes and going through the vlog from last week all the things I plan to do this week none of them I've done none of them I've read none of the things I have planned I was going to read two SBFBO books this week that's not happened because I picked this one up um so i've i've got until the end of april to wrap up all that content so i'm not going to rush i'm not going to panic um i am however i've got three days to run this vlog left so it would be nice to get this finished by the end of friday and as i don't have vast amounts of things to do over the next couple of days there's a possibility that i could get some good reading time in bit more than yesterday would be nice, an hour and 12 minutes. I'm going to continue timing myself because it is an interesting thing. Um, so hopefully I can you know, get a little bit more reading time done during the day. If I'm timing myself, as I said yesterday, I would have to stop the timer to pick up a different app, which I don't always want to do. But today, the video is just currently saving, so I'm going to leave that to run, that's going to take a while. I'm going to nip into town this morning. Um, I was waiting for a delivery, but that came at 20 past 8. It's a good thing I was awake, really. Um, so that came at 20 past 8 this morning, so that's already here. So the thing I was going to wait for, which I thought would be about 1 o'clock, has already, already arrived, which is good. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting back into this one. Um, I didn't really say a lot about it yesterday, but it's definitely a step up in complexity for, than the first book. That already feels like there is so much more going on. So much more politics is just about to burst through. And we ha we've had about four pointers of view so far. So the three friends from the first group, um, from the first book rather, 
and one of the people they meet later on. I shan't really give you any spoilers, we're in book two now. And there's just a lot more going on already with both of their stories. So I'm interested to see where this second book goes. Um, but I am reading it on the Kindle because it's much easier than holding this thing. Um, so I am going to go into town now. I think um, while the weather's still nice, I don't know if we've got rain forecast this afternoon, but if I go into town this morning, then I've got this afternoon to sit and read and then work on the book journal. There's still three books left, but I don't feel so bad about it when there's only three books left. So yes. Um, also need to start working on some video notes. <laughs> I've been saying that for weeks and I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm going to try and get a good recording set done this afternoon, not this afternoon, this weekend on Saturday um, and then um, if I don't get a lot of time during the week to do a lot of reading it doesn't matter because I'll have videos ready. Anyway, so not put pressure on ourselves, let's just do the things we can do. We're going to go to town now and take some books down to the charity shop I think and um, let the kitties just relax. Um, Spencer is upstairs somewhere but she did come and sleep with me last night so I think I am forgiven and Lila's been pretty cuddly this morning. Um, yeah, yesterday was quite funny afterwards because Spencer clearly knew it was my fault the things that just happened to them and then about five minutes after we got home Lila came running up to me squeaking as if to say you will not believe what has just happened to me how, how has this happened whereas Spencer was definitely aware that I was involved. Anyway um, let's go into town. It's nice and cold outside. It is about 20 to 2 now um, and yes I am in my cosy wear because I'm running out of days where I can just be cosy all afternoon. Um, I got back from town a bit ago and I did everything I needed to do in town which honestly wasn't a lot of things and I had every intention of sitting down and doing some reading when I got back from town but my contract has arrived and with my contract all the policies and forms and everything I need to fill in before I can start work on Monday. So I've been doing that since I got back but um, I've got some washing on that's just finished when he's put it on its spin. I am going to do some reading this afternoon. I am. I have a few more things to fill in but I just need to take it all with me on Monday so I've got a little while yet. So, um, the video for tonight is uploaded. That's saved and is on ready to go. So that's where we are with everything right now. Um, and I'm not going to be <laughs> an echo of things to come. I know the last few days have just been me going, I want to read this, know this, know this, know this. Turns out I had a T. Kingfisher short story collection upstairs, so I'm going to read a couple of stories from that and then go back to an echo of things to come. So I'm just going to go and sort the washing out now and then do a little bit of reading at least. So reading a couple of stories ended up reading for 54 minutes um, and I've read several stories. It's such a good collection, it's so much fun. It's so weird, um, but still just utterly delightful. So um, I'm going to take a break now, but I will be reading some more of this later on. Um, these stories are just so good. <laughs> There's one where birds just go all weird and it's just that's great so um yeah if you if you can get hold of this it's definitely worth a read this is what i'm putting up with while i try and read it is just after half past eight um you're still needing away aren't you yeah 
working hard, you're kneading away at my buddy. Where's you? Where's you? <laughs> um, so I have been reading for two hours and 25 minutes and I've just finished the ja uh, Jackalope Wives and Other Stories and I've got my first five star read of the year. Pretty sure it was my first one. This is just such a good collection of short stories. Um, it's beautiful and it's wonderful and it's touching and I just, just love this one so much. Um, so I'm not even going to try and read that giant fantasy book tonight. And tomorrow I do need to work on my book journal, but I've managed to squeeze out one final book for January, which is nice. So I'll add that to my spreadsheet tomorrow and take this off the TBR list. But, um, I don't know if it's going to show very well, I don't think so. Spencer has chewed that bottom corner. Yeah, she is a naughty cat. Um... So I I don't have to read anything else today. I don't. It's too late. I'm tired. The kitties are ready to sleep, but not quite ready to go to sleep myself yet. But yeah, this this was just so good. Good morning. It is half past eight on Thursday, the first of February, and I can't believe we're already in February. January felt like it has gone so fast this year. Um, normally January is such a long month because my paydays have always been around the 28th and the last couple of places I've worked have very helpfully moved the December payday to before Christmas. So it's always felt like there's such a long stretch of time until the payday in January and it always takes forever to go through. But this year it's just, it's gone by in about five minutes this year. Um, ask me again at the end of February how I feel about it. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're heading into a new month. I start a new job this month. And, yeah, it's just an exciting time. I know that I said in my um, 2024 goals that I was going to worry more about the number of pages I have read this year. But I still look at the number of books I managed to read in January and it wasn't as many as I was expecting. I didn't realise just how much mental space job hunting would take up and the whole panic that I don't have a job. So I didn't do as much reading as I was anticipating. But I read two really long books in January and I'm really happy with that. I read two at over 600 pages, which is fantastic because I don't read that many long books anymore. And the whole point of this year was trying to change that. So if I actually look at the number of pages I've read, it's a good number of pages this month or in January. I think I managed to hit 4,000 pages for January, which to me is a really good number because my baseline for the year was 100 pages a day. So I can't complain about that. Um, so as has been a theme for the last week or so, I'm changing what I'm reading. Um, I'm not going back to an echo of things to come right now. I do want to, but I really want to get some more SBFBO reading done before I start my job. Um, and I have decided on The Last Fang of God. Um, that's the shortest book on my pile of books to still go through for SBFBO. So when I've done that, I'll probably go back to An Echo of Things to Come. But I just want to get that little bit further through so that I'm not trying to do that and settle into a new job at the same time. So, um, I'm not going to start reading yet this morning. Um, I need to update my book journal and write my wrap-up notes for January, which is a job that I would really like to get done today. Um, and to record Saturday, I think. I'm going to really try and get a recording session done on Saturday rather than the Sunday, because this last week, as I said, I was just busy all day Sunday. Saturday, I've got nothing planned I don't think so I'd like to get that wrap up done and work on some SBFBO content so that's the plans um, at the moment I'm going to go and drink my overpriced uh, sugary coffee which I have treated myself to this morning I have been out and got one and I'd like to drink that while it's still hot so I shall go and watch a YouTube video <laughs> while I drink that it's just turned 11 o'clock, so I thought I would give you an update. I have written two entries in my book journal. So there's God Killer and oh, the other one's an SBFBO book, so you'll have to wait for the review for that. do have two books left to write up. I've just got the covers ready here. 
and I've got my notes for my monthly wrap up to do. So I shall sort that out in a bit as well once I've written up these last two books. Um, I've been going backwards and forwards between YouTube and, you know, doing a bit of book journaling as well. So it's just been a nice quiet morning. The cats have finally settled down for a sleep. They have been chaotic today. Um, I suspect they were still feeling a bit off yesterday after going to the vets as well. So I'm really glad that they are back to their usual gremlin selves. Yes. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to go and sort out some books. I've been kind of half organising some books that I've been thinking about keeping or getting rid of and I just need to go through and decide what I'm doing with them so that I can filter them down to the charity shop soon because I do need to reorganise upstairs. Um, so I kind of want to start working on that as well today. Um, but I do still need to get some reading done. Um, and I think I'm going to go and read for a little bit now and just have a break from my book journal. Right, this is the first column because I've got the book stored in a cupboard and there's several columns. And this is what I fished out from the first one. So Neil Stevenson never got into, tried a couple of other books. And I'm not sure that Seven Eves is ever going to be anything I reread. Um, it was a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed it, but it was a lot of work. I'm still quite tempted just to keep Seven Eves. Because I did enjoy that one. But I've not enjoyed anything else that I've tried from him. Winter's Orbit was fine. I've The sequel's been out, or prequel. I don't know, but I've got no interest in going back to this. No Country for Old Men was brutal as anything. I've got really no interest in rereading it. The Left-Handed Booksellers of London, I kept it because it was Garth Nix. And I really liked other Garth Nix, but, you know, not a huge fan. Only Forward, I can't remember anything about. So, um, I know I've read it. I got it in my book spa when I went down to Bath. Now, China Mayville, I have been debating this for ages. And I put the books to one side to see whether or not I would think about them ever. And I haven't. And I've really just lost interest. I'm I'm not denying they're good books. Do I want to ever come back to any of them again? And I don't know. I didn't even read any more from this world. I, I don't know. These aren't going down to the charity shop straight away. They're going on the charity shop pile to go down another time. I've got more to go down. So I think Seven Eves can go back into storage. And these are going on the probably pile. Yes. Um, one day I will have the bookcase of my dreams and I can show all of my books. But that day is a long way away. Right, I'm going to go sort some more out. Right, these are going into the storage. I've reread The Heart Goes Last and Oryx and Crake recently to finish off Mad Adam. Mad Adam just was not good. Um, and Hag Seed, I need to reread at some point, but I don't feel it. Um, so these are going to go into the piles to be stored and The Handmaid's Tale is staying on my shelves. It is 10 to 1 now. Um, I've had some lunch and instead of working on my book journal or reading, what I'm actually going to go and do is go into town. Um, I've got some stuff on the pile to go down to the charity shop that's been there for a little while and since I've just put a load of new books on there, I'm going to go and clear out the oldest stuff. And it's a really nice day outside, so it would be nice to get some fresh air. Um, and then I'll come back and work on things and uh, try and get some reading in today. It is 25 past two now. I just dropped some books off in town and I didn't really need anything myself, so it was just a very quick trip in and out of town. So now I'm back. I still need to finish off my book journal, but for now, I'm going to do some reading. Um, I'm going to set my phone charging so I can't even play with my phone while I'm reading and set the timer going and let's just see where we end up today. It is quarter past five now. Um, I managed about an hour's reading between a few other things that I was doing around the house, a bit of tidying up and all that. Um, the last thing of God is um, something. Many thoughts, not coherent. Um, it's a quick read. It's a very quick read. 
and I've got to admit, one of the characters needs a bit of an attitude adjustment, but let me finish the book, make a review and everything. So it's not quite a time to eat yet, um, but tonight's food's going to be fairly quick, I'm just reheating something, and then I am going to work on the last two books in my book journal so I can get that up to date and get my monthly wrap-up notes done. So that's the plan. By the end of today I wanted to get my monthly wrap-up notes done and I've done some reading so I think if I manage all that that will be a fairly successful day and might even be able to come back and do a bit more reading. Yay! Good morning it is about half past seven on Friday the 2nd of February. I was awake earlier than I wanted to be and why was that Spencer? Would that be because you jumped on my chest four o'clock in the morning and started meowing in my face? Or rather the little squeaky noise she makes instead of a full-on meow? Yes, so I got up, yeah. Um, I did need to be up at a reasonable time anyway because I do need to go and take my car for its MOT and I need to leave by about 8 o'clock for that. So I do need to leave in about half an hour. So I couldn't lay in and be a potato this morning but I still have Saturday and Sunday for that. So There we go. Um, I did finish The Last Fang of God last night. Um, I know you have some thoughts about it. I still need to figure out what I'm going to say about it i quite enjoyed it but overall it's a standalone and it felt too short but at the same time it felt like there was too much story for a standalone so i've just got to work out how i feel about it and figure out what i'm going to say so i did not work on my book journal last night either because i got everything out on the table all my crafty stuff and everything to work on it pulled out the chair Went to go and get a drink and Spencer curled up and fell asleep on the chair. So, can't move a cat of that's asleep, obviously. So, I will be finishing that off today because I, I do have today before I need to... I have today to get videos made, ready for tomorrow, if that makes sense. Anyway, so, what I'm going to take, I'm going to take my Kindle with me. And I don't know if I'm going to continue on with an echo of things to come because I am going to wait with my car but it's always fairly noisy and busy where I have it done. Um, so I might have a quick look on my Kindle and see if I can find something that's going to be a bit of a lighter read and then I shall let you know. But I'm going to go and do that and he's going to put some screen wash in my car because I always forget to do that before the MOT and then they charge me to fill up my screen wash. So I need to go and do that myself. So I'm going to do that and uh, I'll probably talk to you. Well, not talk to you, but I'll be waiting at the garage. Just scrolling through my Kindle, I've got Shadow of Hyperion from Kindle Unlimited, which is the fourth hybrid Helix book by JCM Byrne. So I might read that one because they are so much fun. Um, and that will get me up to date with that one. I know the series is going to continue. Um, it's seriously going to be quite large apparently so I do need to put that on my series tracker because this isn't the end of it and I was going to leave that one because I'd read most of the books before now but the series will continue um, so yes I think I'm going to read that one and that will knock off a Kindle Unlimited book as well <laughs> it is um, 20 to 12 now I've just got home I did my weekly shopping as well while I was out so very productive morning. My car passed by about that much, which is kind of good and bad. I mean, I suspected it would need some work because the car is now 10 years old. It needs a handbrake. Um, it's okay for now, but the handbrake needs sorting out, um, which would be fine, except that it's not work they can do on a Saturday. And I have now run out of weekdays that I have unaccounted for because today is the last Friday and I start work on Monday. Um, so I need to try and figure something out. Um, it needs a couple of smaller bits, but they can be done on a Saturday and they are not urgent. They are a try and get it done before next year's, which is okay. Um, I did no reading at all while I was at the garage because in the waiting area they have a telly on with noise, which is fine. I could read. They also have the radio one. Uh, it just makes for a very chaotic set of background noises. Just that little bit too much noise for reading. So I didn't. 
but what it, what it did was let me just grab this um i bought myself an easter egg and i'm gonna eat it this afternoon because i'm not going to do anything else of any productivity today except for maybe my book journal maybe I'm, I'm not leaving the house again today it's not happening i'm gonna put my shopping away um and then i, I need a pepsi or something it's half past two now. I thought I might get around to doing some reading before now, um, but I've been filling in um, a lot of documentation this afternoon for my new job. So that's been taking up quite a bit of time. And I have a phone call about everything very shortly. So I'm fairly busy this afternoon. Um, I do still need to get my book journal sorted out and my notes for my monthly wrap up, but that can be later on. Um, I'm not sure what I want to read. I mean, obviously we've got, is it an echo of things to come? I can't remember what it's called. Do we need to go and find out what it's called? An echo of things to come, that's what it's called. Um, I've got that to work on, but I kind of want to do a prompt for next week. I am going to continue to vlog. <laughs> it's, it's just not going to be as much during the week, even though it's not really a lot now. Um, and I kind of wanted to draw a prompt from my jar for next week, so that could be fun. So depending on what comes out, I could still read that, but it depends what comes out. So I don't really want to start anything big tonight, and I do kind of want to work on some video stuff tonight so I can get some recording done over the weekend, which, let's face it, is probably going to be Sunday. I know every week I say, no, I want to do it on Saturday, so Sunday's free. I'm I'm aware. I'm going to do it on Sunday. We know this. Um, so it'd be nice to get in an hour or so of something. Maybe I should go and find a short story collection. No, because that's been proven. The last couple that I've read, I just read all the way through. Um, I do have Where the Waters Turn Black. That's only about 200 pages long. That's already downstairs. And I have the cover printed out. So I could read that. I've got about half an hour, so um, half an hour now and then a bit later on. Could be an idea. It's ten past four. Have I been doing any reading? No. Have I been tearing apart my library? Yes. Um, things are starting to get a little bit cramped. Um, not everything that's gaps now has gone is going to the charity shop some of it's just been boxed away stuff that i've been looking at going i don't want to get rid of it but i don't necessarily want to reread it anytime in the next few years um also Discworld has gone into a cupboard and i've only kept the last few that i've read on the shelf because i certainly don't have room for 41 41 Discworld books and also, um, these are big, I found these. Now, um, I thought I'd got rid of them. I've completely lost interest. Uh, so even if that third book comes out, I don't know if I'm interested enough, but anyway, they're going to the charity shop. They'll probably go down tomorrow. I do need to completely rearrange everything, I mean, <laughs> I feel like I got rid of half this shelf. I got rid of a lot of the shelf and it was just the Joe Hill hardcovers. Um, and then some Rob J. Hayes is now up here. And all th this is also empty because I've moved the John Gwynn and the Mira Grant to the very bottom of the bookcase. Um, so, yes, lots of gaps. Um, and... It should make life a little bit easier. So yeah, some of the Gareth L. Powell has gone into the cupboard as well, as long as all clear north. So um, when it comes to the end of this month, when I've done my wrap up, I was keeping my books that I read while I was unemployed in a stack and seeing if it was going to be as tall as me. Well, it's not because I'm... We only got half of December and January, so it's not going to be a very tall stack at all. So once I've done my wrap up, I can start putting the books away and then rearrange the shelves 
but this is what I've been doing. Um, I am limited on space and I'm trying to make the most of what space I do have. Um, but yes, believe me, there are some very large piles of books to go to the charity shop of things that I'd completely forgotten about um, and things that I'm just not interested in anymore. Yes, um, I can almost feel the cats willing me to feed them. It's still a bit early, but they don't understand the concept of time. It's me again. I'm still in the library, still poking around. Um, one of the main things I am debating is the Wayward Children series. I mean, the the next book hasn't come out in the UK yet. I think it's later on in February. Um, I think it's out in America. I've seen it pop up in vlogs. And while part of me is like, yeah, let's get the next one, part of me is going, am I that interested? And I don't know. They're expensive, so it's going to be about £15 for a novella, £15, £16. So it ain't cheap. But I don't feel like I've enjoyed the last three, I would say, as much as the first ones. The first two, I adored the first two. And then I kept going and I enjoyed it. And then the middle section, yeah, it was okay, but the last three not favourites and I just don't know what to do about it. Also I've got middle game, can't remember a thing about middle game and I've got seasonal fears and I just cannot summon up the drive to read seasonal fears but again that was an expensive book so I just don't know what to do about them, really don't. I've also got Gideon, Harrow and Nona on the shelf and I am just living for the day Electo gets announced and we get a date for Electo the 9th. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just undecided in general. When I say I've moved the John Gwynn and the Mira Grant to a bottom shelf, um, they're just down here chilling with the SF Masterworks that haven't been put away. Um, I ended up with too many SF Masterworks and I didn't love them all so I've had a sort through. Some are in storage, some have gone to the charity shop. I'm never going to complete the set so it just seemed pointless just to keep them just so I had them all. Some of them I rated two stars, some I didn't even finish so what was the point of having so many of these that I didn't enjoy? The ones I've left out I really enjoyed, all the most recent reads so there's that. Um, and John Gwynn, I really enjoyed all those. And Mira Grant, I keep meaning to reread Parasitology. I just haven't yet. There's other things I want to reread. My Stephen King overspill because I haven't got anywhere else to put them at the moment. And uh, there's Brando Sandu because he's he's a shelf hog. One thing that is going into storage is Gardens of the Moon. And I do not know if I want to continue on with Malazan or not. I really don't know. I mean, I enjoyed Gardens of the Moon. But I don't know if it's the fan base. Or just the sheer size of it. But then, it doesn't scare me like that. Because Wheel of Time, there's thousand page books in Wheel of Time. 800 page books in Wheel of Time. I'm going to eat them up. I'm going to read them. I don't know. Does it matter really? If I want to read it at some point, I can read it at some point. Just not now. Not now. Because I have some big series planned. Currently reading Wheel of Time. Or rereading it for the first time in over a decade to finish it. Which I didn't do last time. Then, it's Joe Abercrombie. I'm going to reread the first Law trilogy and then read the rest of them. And then I've got Robin Hobb. I've got the very first book, and if I like that one, that's a giant series as well. So it's going to be a long time before I even consider Malazan. And then there might be other big series that I want to read in the meantime. So that I can just go out of sight, out of mind for the moment. <laughs>